Yo, what is up Xbox and PC fans? Uh, just wanted to say thank you again for 100 subs and actually give you guys something today. I did do a thanks for 50 video and tried to point out some ways to boost audio and audio quality, volume, etc. Uh, be able to manipulate, you know, kind of your audio uh, in Windows and also record audio, stuff like that. But yeah, if you want to know how to do that, check out that video. I'll put it up here in the video links, so uh, shoot over there for that. But today, I want to go over one thing in particular that people kind of struggle with, I've noticed. A lot of my friends will call me or text me or, you know, Facebook, email, social media, maybe whatever. And they'll say, Josh, you know, I can't figure out how to get this friggin' movie file or movie, whatever, to play on my Windows PC 7, 8, 8.1, 10, whatever, with audio, or the audio seems to be corrupt. What have I done wrong, and what can I do to make this audio play and not get a virus? So, as opposed to having you guys go out and look and try and do the research and download something that may or may not be safe or may or may not work, etc., I've gone ahead and done the legwork here for you, and... This file I'm going to point you to is completely legitimate. It will enable decompression of various audio codecs such as DTS audio, FLAC audio, etc. But it's a fantastic pack of codecs that are things that are used to actually decompress certain kinds of audio files. So yeah, this works very, very well. And this is actually installed, not recommended, but actually installed by various OEM PC manufacturers such as Hewlett Packard, Asus, Acer, Dell, Lenovo, Toshiba. All those guys are putting this piece of software onto their machines before they send them out the door. So I would also recommend that you guys head over uh, and pick yourself up the DivX player. This is just another tool that you can use to decode movie files and um, the player is absolutely free. You can kind of pick and choose various codecs that are for quote unquote DivX player, such as a DTS audio decoder that they will actually charge you for, for different you know decoders for their program. However, uh, you won't need that if you download the decoder I just gave you. You can play all those videos back with full audio support just using the regular Windows Media Player under like I say Windows 7 8 8.1 and 10 so no big deal but it's also good to have just another player if you're not sure if a file type works or not because it's getting giving you an error with the regular Windows Media Player you can always check the file using this DivX player anyway if you do have some movie files you want to play um, this will help you do that hope you guys are having a great week and I'll see you in the next one